So behavior, both positive and not so positive. It's just one of the core things we have to work with as an educator. Fortunately, Aubrey can help. Hello folks, I'm Zach Vanderveen, one of the co-founders here at Aubrey and former classroom management sensei. Aubrey is the leading K-12 administrative platform that supports the whole child. With Aubrey, you can understand the full story of a student from academics to social emotional health to graduation portfolios and portraits. We excel at breaking down the silos that create friction in supporting the learning community. Behavior, of course, is a critical component to understanding the whole child. For this webinar, we're going to focus on our behavior app and how schools can use us for all kinds of behavior frameworks. Quick note, Aubrey really is for everyone. We offer a host of solutions in a number of areas. Think of us as a modern operating system for K-12. If you'd like to learn more, please check out our website, aubrey.com. Before we jump into the app, a few key concepts behind how we at Aubrey view behavior. First, context matters. Understanding the full story of a student is important to understand why they act the way they act. That's why our Student 360 is foundational to our behavior system. More on that in a minute. Second, while negative behavior should and is tracked in our system, positive behavior can be tracked as well. Indeed, we're the perfect platform for PBIS. This webinar is more a general overview of behavior, but if you'd like to see how it can support PBIS and positive behaviors, we'll have a link posted in our website. Third, we need to go beyond just tracking and analyzing behavior. This means offering meaningful interventions that can help students. With Aubrey, you can provide learning opportunities to students and their families. You can also connect students to outside resources, such as counseling services. Okay, cool. Hopefully that helped level set a bit on how Aubrey is different. Now, let's jump in and take a look at the platform. We'll start with the login of our fictional school district, Franklin Schools. Note that we have four stakeholder types. For this webinar, I'm focusing on the staff role. On login, I'm greeted with announcements, widgets, shortcuts, and various notifications. If you'd like to learn more about how these features support the whole child, let us know. But for now, I'm going to pivot over to where we hold our Aubrey apps. Aubrey apps perform a particular function on the platform. I want to start with the students app. This app gives educators and family members a full 360 degree view of their students. Using Daisy as an example, I can pull up information about all components that support and shape Daisy's education. For example, I can view items like her schedule, her third party assessments, her education plans, her grades, her social and emotional health, and crucially, her behavior. I like to start with the students app when we talk about behavior because in working with the student's behavior, you really want to understand the full picture of a child. Do they have an education plan? How are their grades? Are they living with grandma? Are they in any support groups at school? Our students app empowers teachers and administrators to answer these questions immediately. I want to now focus on how behavior works from a teacher's perspective. Let's say Daisy has, unfortunately, caused a disruption in class. As a teacher, I'm going to go to the behavior app, search for her name, and hit the plus icon. Notice we start with two types of behavior. There's a personal type and an office type. Personal is used by the staff member to keep track of personal records. Perhaps you want to track positive behaviors of a student in your class, or you just want to make an observation about a behavior that's emerging. That's what personal is used for. Technically, an administrator can see personal behavior incidents, but they're not proactively notified. An office referral will kick off a behavior workflow. Essentially, the administrator gets notified. We have a few self-explanatory fields here. We like to collect location of the behavior. We like to know what the behavior actually was. Pl please note that you can have positive and negative behaviors observed. For negative, we typically see schools add their code of conduct. We have a field that will, when the behavior incident is closed, be available for family members to see. As a teacher, you wanna keep this factual with an eye towards prudence 
and hopefully changing the behavior or encouraging the behavior in a positive way. The additional information field is where greater context can be sent to the principal or assistant principal. Please note that the admin team can make edits to these fields before it goes live with family members. When everything is set, you hit submit. And that's it. Now the process kicks over to the administrators. Switching over to an admin view, note that I have a few more options in the behavior app. When a staff member submits a referral, I can choose to get a notification, text, email, or in the app, or build working with behavior into my daily schedule. Either way, I can open up my queue and pull up Daisy. Note, I have a few options here. Coming back to our consistent theme of a whole child, I can always pull up her student 360 to get the full picture of Daisy. I can also change the person making the referral. This is a feature often used with transportation workers or part-time staff. Anyway, I read what happened, can add my own notes, and make the decision on the type of response I will give. I can add multiple responses to the student. I can also copy this entire referral to a different student, which can speed up the process when dealing with large events. You can always print out the referral to give to your student. Every school has the ability to up their, upload their own letters, complete with their own language and letterhead, to go along with the Aubrey generated referral. Now I can skip right to the end of the process and hit complete, and indeed, that's what many of our administrators do. But in this situation, I'm going to follow the process through. For example, say I have an after school detention lined up and I want to make sure the students attend. I would hit save and the referral goes to the verification tab. We have a role in Aubrey that allows individuals to click complete when that student shows up for the detention. Once the referral is completed, a couple of things happen. First, the staff member is notified. Technically, they can always pull up the behavior app and see the status of their referrals, but they can also receive notifications. Second, once the referral is completed, family members can receive a notification and see the referral as part of their student's profile. And that's the process. Pretty simple. Depending on your student information system, Aubrey will push the referral back to your SIS for state reporting. There's no need for double data entry. It's not just the process, but the reporting that can come in handy for schools. With our Reports tab, you can gather a good amount of data and trends with behavior referrals in your district or in your school. You can see things like most common behaviors, common times of the day for the behavior, common locations, common referrers, the most commonly referred, and more. The data can be downloaded and manipulated as the school sees fit. I want to wrap up this webinar by addressing one of the most important questions. Once you see certain behaviors emerge with your student or trending hard in your school, a solid question to ask is, now what? How do you encourage certain behaviors and discourage others? Aubrey has two apps that address the now what. The first is the Learn app, which provides self-paced learning experience for students. Have a student that's dealing with behaviors whose roots are in anxiety? Have them enroll in a short experience that teaches them how to deal with anxiety. Our second app is the Partners app, which can connect students and their families to third-party partners with the schools. Sticking with the example of a student wrestling with anxiety, you may have a counselor from Children's Hospital running a counseling group that uses Aubrey to support them in that group. For Aubrey, supporting the whole child means more than just tracking the behavior. It means learning about the behavior and providing supports around that behavior. Okay, so that was a bit, but I hope that you found this webinar helpful. There's a lot goes into supporting the whole child, behavior being a critical component. To recap, with Aubrey you can have a robust behavior referral system that tracks positive and challenging behaviors, see behavior in the context of the whole child, access analytics and reports about the behavior in your school and district, and provide a variety of supports to address those behaviors. If you'd like to learn more about how, how Aubrey can help you and your students and families, drop us a line at info at or visit us at Aubrey.io. Cheers.